Meanwhile, the Nigerian police have been enjoined to always find a balance in carrying out their civic responsibility at the 41st graduation ceremony of police officers trained on human rights, rule of law and code of conduct in Lagos. Speakers emphasize on respect for human rights at all times. Plus TV correspondent Lovi Kuku Oyedekun has more in this report. The 91 officers who were successful out of 100 that participated in the three month intensive training. The officers were trained on human rights, rule of law, and code of conduct for police officers at an election time, election security, and the new criminal justice administration. Stakeholders at the event commended the idea behind the training. They believe it would go a long way in helping the police interface with members of the public without infringing on their rights. The training is not usually a one-off training. It's a training that goes on for months. And we do it, we take them through all the ramifications of human rights, and then we give them an exam. We role play, we role play, we don't have time, we role play the way they treat people, they see it themselves, we role play the better way and they feel happy about I also commend the Commissioner of Police under the able leadership, the Lagos State Police Command, under the able leadership of CPLAB for embracing human rights training for its personnel. This is a clear evidence of the recognition by the Lagos State Police Command of the importance of human rights as an essential and integral component of policing. The 2023 election and hospital rejection of gunshot victims were other issues on the table for deliberation. Issue of casualty taken to hospitals of bullet uh, shots. And up to today, some police officers will still be arresting hospitals that are treating people with various gunshots. Life first. You must first of all save life. But because most of them do not know what the, the current law is or current directive is, they tend to actually act sometimes out of ignorance. So that's why it's very important to continue to train and remind them what the evolving uh, laws are. So this is what they just be able to do now. A lot of ignorance. There, been, there, there is a law about that. And there is a directive from the of Police, you know, that gunshot victims should be treated. And after treatment, the hospital or the doctor who has done that to inform the police immediately. So there is, there is no, it's, it's, it's something we are, being, we, are, we are used to and uh, we have been doing that. We have been assisting the, even the gunshot victims by allowing doctors to treat them. They have to say, they have the, they have the you know, ethical, um, you know, um, right to, to save life first and thereafter report to the police. The commissioner cautions members of the public against offering money for bail as it is free. If anybody asks you to pay money for bail and you, say, you, you, you tell the person that bail is free and he doesn't agree with you or maybe he does not uh, release your, 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 your brother for a bailable offense, my office is open. I'm very accessible. I've always told people that my office is very open and I'm very, very accessible. All members of the public can attest to that. You know, so there's no barrier between me and members of the public. If any of my men is doing something wrong, let me know and I will, I will definitely correct it. So I see, I see it says that bail is free and people should stop giving police or bribing police money for bail. If you are a civilian here and you still pay money for bail to police, you're on your own. Because we run a civilian training every Saturday, whereby we also have to educate the civilians to demand for their rights from the police. How many of you pay for money? According to the organizers of the event, the training will help change the narrative and build trust in the minds of the populace about the police. Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.